get ready for a high protein lunch is two ways. A gourmet roasted vegetable dish with high protein packed dressing and an all around family favorite. Welcome back to my cozy kitchen friends. You know, growing up, cooking was a bit of a danger zone for me. My mom never let me in the kitchen to learn to cook. And fast forward to today, here I am, a mom with five kids and my husband who all depend on me for home-cooked meals every single day. I've definitely learned a lot. It's been a journey of lots of learning and lots of taste tests and lots of trial and error, that's for sure. I almost forgot to show you my second apron. I got a little white one and this one is a black one. Love both of them. So anyway, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro in cooking, join me today as we whip up some really delicious high protein lunches that are sure to make everybody happy. Right here we have a mason jar full of lentils that we soaked overnight and then I'm just rinsing and we are going to put this in a spaghetti bolognese sauce. In the beginning, you would have seen that I was chopping up some onions, carrots, and celery. That's our mirepoix that makes the base for our spaghetti sauce. Now, my husband, Trey, he calls everything spaghetti. Whether it's macaroni, it's spaghetti if it's red sauce. I beg to defer, this is spaghetti bolognese. Typically, it is made with minced beef or pork or veal if you have. I usually used to make it with beef, but to veganify it, we are using some red lentils. Now, you can cook your lentils ahead of time first, like cook it on the side and then put it into your sauce. Today I opted to just put the lentils raw into the pot and we're just going to cook it in the sauce just like this. I like to season ours with some salt, Italian seasoning and oregano if you have. And then right here I'm just going to add some water just to cover the lentils so we cook the lentils through. Lentils really take a very short time to cook through so you want to make sure you just kind of Keep your eye on it, it can cook anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. We like our sauce very seasoned, so I have Italian seasoning going in, lots of onion powder, you can put garlic if you want to, and some salt. Make sure everything smells delicious, make sure you give it some love. My husband Trey says he can definitely tell if I do or don't put in love while I'm cooking. I don't know if it's true, but you let me know what you think in the comments below. We have decided to start working on fixing up our kitchen. So in the background, you may see that our cabinets are sort of opened and we're just getting things started like taking off our cabinets and we're going to paint that. We are so excited for this project and we can't wait to show you the final reveal once it's done. So on this day, I went out to Home Depot to gather a bunch of supplies and it's it was a pretty long morning, so I wanted a very simple and satisfying lunch for the day. Here I'm just washing some vegetables that we are going to prepare to make some roasted vegetables. And this was just, it was actually unplanned. I am going to show you a really delicious sauce that I came up with. One of the fastest meals that we like to have is some roasted vegetables because you can choose any vegetable that is roastable. Here I just have some cauliflower. I love using cauliflower for a lot of things as you may know. This last grocery haul I showed how many cauliflower heads I purchased. If you're interested in that I will have a link in the description down below so you can check out what we purchased and how much we spent on a 90% organic grocery haul back working on the spaghetti sauce, I usually like to use all crushed tomatoes. Just canned crushed tomatoes, organic of course. Now I didn't have enough so I used two, well one and a half cans of tomato paste and then half a can of crushed tomatoes is all I had. So that's what I used. I used what I had and then I just added a little bit of water here just to keep the sauce loose. We are going to cover this and cook for about 30 minutes or so on low. While we are simmering the spaghetti sauce, I'm going to just prepare the rest of the vegetables. I have some chopped up broccoli over here. I chose to add some bell peppers. I love to use red bell peppers, but they didn't have it, so I just used whatever I had, which is green bell peppers. And lastly, I have some squash here. I like to go for green zucchinis be just because of the size and cookability, if that's a word. But Right now I have yellow, so I am using yellow squash. 
Let us season it up. So I have here some hemp oil that I'm going to drizzle all over our vegetables. We're going to salt, onion powder it, and I used a combination of smoked paprika and ancho chili powder, which is not spicy at all. I also added some herby things such as our Italian seasoning, and then I'm going to mix it with our hands. Now typically, we like a lot of seasonings in our food, so I'm going to add another layer of some seasonings here. So just some salt, some more onion powder, and then we like a lot of color on our vegetables. A tip to a very flavorful potato, roast potato, or vegetable is to make sure you season it very, very well. You want to make sure that you have the seasonings on there, like just make sure that it's colored. You see your vegetables all nicely colored and brown with seasonings? That's how much seasonings you should use. <laughs> so then we're gonna bake this at a 425 degrees convection oven for about 30 minutes. Let's make a cilantro lime dressing with hemp seeds for our roasted vegetables. This is gonna be a really delicious, creamy, high protein, surprisingly high protein dressing that you can put on literally anything. Um, we like it on our vegetables and our salad, so this is what we're going to make and this is how we make it. We have about a quarter of a red onion going into a glass jar like so. Chop up some cilantro. We have about a big handful or maybe like half a bunch of cilantro here we're gonna season it with one teaspoon of salt for now you can always add later you're going to add six tablespoons of hemp seeds we like to use organic hemp seeds so six tablespoons of hemp seeds you can get anywhere between 20 to 30 grams of protein add your juice of a lime here we just use one whole lime you can use however much lime you would like we like it nice and acidic also add a quarter cup of water. You can always add more water later if you can't blend it up, but I would suggest we're just using about a quarter cup of water just to get things going. We also added some hemp oil just to make it a nice, rich, creamy sauce. And just when everything was going smoothly, this happened. I completely didn't even think about taking off the handle. I went to adjust the camera and, um, spilt a bunch so let me get this cleaned up real quick <sighs> a big sigh woosa let's get back to it now you can kind of see how much i spilt so i needed to replenish this sauce so i did whatever i could to kind of fix it i added some more hemp seeds here some more onions some more cilantro and some more lime mix it all back up add a little bit of spicy chipotle and tasted it just to see if it tasted the same and it was perfect. All is good, we fixed it, we came back on our feet. I'm just checking the spaghetti sauce really quick. Things happen in the kitchen, it is not always peachy and perfect, so, you know, it happens. I am just lowering our spaghetti in a pot. Now, it definitely looks like I could have used a larger pot here, but this is what I used, and I decided to just stick with it. I didn't want to transfer it into a bigger pot. Make sure you season your pasta water. You want to make sure it is as salty as the sea. And we're going to cook this. I use thick spaghetti. You can use any spaghetti you would like. I use some thick spaghetti. It took me about six, seven minutes. I wanted it to be very al dente so I can cook the rest in the spaghetti sauce. Now it is time for the vegetables to come out. It looked perfect, nice and golden and nice and tender. I'm going to serve up. This is for Trey. So let me just serve him a bowl. We are actually going to layer the sauce. So first I added a layer of vegetables. We ended up adding a little bit of the sauce and then layering it up one more time with the vegetables. I wanna pile it up and get as much vegetables as I can in this bowl. Oh yeah, and that sauce, that creamy, look how thick and creamy. The hemp seeds made this delicious cilantro and lime sauce wouldn't you want a bite out of this it was so easy to make it's full of protein fiber potassium all sorts of good stuff in this sauce trey had me pile on that sauce he loved the sauce so much that he wanted some extra sauce so i just gave him whatever he wanted and voila there you go a beautiful bowl of vegetables which trey our world's best farter i mean father had for lunch
At this point, our spaghetti sauce is nice and ready, as well as our spaghetti. So I wanted to make sure it is nice and al dente. I'm just going to scoop it from pot to pot here. We don't want to strain the spaghetti or the pasta out into like a strainer just because we actually want to use some of this pasta water. The pasta water really helps adhere the sauce to the pasta and it loosens the sauce a little bit whenever you need. You don't want to add water. I mean, it's all, you can use water. It's already seasoned water anyway, so you may as well use the pasta water. And then to make things easy, we're just going to stir everything up in one pot here. Typically, you should maybe just do half of the sauce, stir it up, and then serve the rest of the sauce on top of the pasta. I'm just gonna make life easier for everybody. We're going to stir everything up in a pot. I drizzled a little bit of olive oil here just to add some glisten and some oils. I noticed I needed to loosen up the sauce a little bit, so I'm adding some pasta water here just to loosen it up and keep on stirring. I have the stove still on here about medium. I wanted to make sure I cook the rest of the spaghetti. I'm tasting it as I go. Season it if you need to. Here, I feel like I needed some more salt, some more seasonings. We like some more Italian seasonings and some onion powder. And then I'm also going to add some nutritional yeast. This is a great source of B12 vitamins. And did you know that B vitamins are actually a bacteria? My husband taught me that. I did not know that. Add some more of that pasta water. Keep stirring until it is done to your desired texture. And now it is time to serve. And there you have it, a warm, comforting bowl of spaghetti. How comforting is this? I mean, I think spaghetti or spaghetti meatballs, it's just one of those things that is just so comforting, so satisfying. The kids enjoyed it. We had our little one help clean up his own dish. We want to make sure that we teach them good habits while they grow up. We truly hope you enjoyed all of these recipes. Let us know which one you would like to try and if you like spaghetti and bolognese sauce. Give these recipes a shot. Subscribe if you are new and we would love to see you on the next video. Take care.